two-day extradition hearing for imprisoned journalists and WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange concluded on February 21st. The two High Court judges overseeing the hearing stated that they would require more time for a verdict. This was Assange's last attempt in UK courts to appeal his extradition to the United States. Hundreds gathered outside London's High Court of Justice throughout the court proceedings in solidarity with Assange, demanding his immediate release and against his extradition to the United States. And this case remains a stain, a stain on the US, a stain on the UK, and both governments should be absolutely ashamed of it and, and what they're doing to press freedom and our rights. Because what, what was going on in there is the prosecutors telling us that journalism is a threat to democracy. And whistleblowing is a threat to democracy. Our right to know is a threat to democracy. So shame on them and free Julian Assange. On the first day of the hearing, Assange's defense team presented on the grounds of appeal against the extradition. They highlighted the political nature of the offense cited for extradition in violation of the UK-US extradition treaty, punishment without a crime, which is a violation of the European Convention of Human Rights, disproportionate penalty, and the unfair trial of a foreigner. Assange was not present for the hearing on both days due to health issues that had been aggravated by his imprisonment. The court was also reportedly not prepared to accommodate journalists covering the proceedings and they faced significant obstacles in following the court proceedings properly. It was absolutely amazing to be in the courtroom this morning. I was not in the actual courtroom yesterday, but in a side room where I couldn't hear anything. Now I was in the actual courtroom and I still couldn't hear anything. <laughs> but, so at least you're getting closer and you can see the reaction from the two judges and you see the, the back head of the, the lawyer representing the U.S. government. On the second and final day of the hearing, the United States repeated the long debunked and discredited theories and allegations about the case. The U.S. opened with unsubstantiated claims that Assange's publishing of the classified documents exposed several contacts, putting them in harm's way, especially those in war zones and under oppressive regimes. The U.S. submission also claimed that WikiLeaks was the first to publish unredacted versions of the classified documents. This is factually incorrect, as WikiLeaks was the first to extensively redact names and locations while releasing the documents. In these past two days, we have heard nothing new from the U.S. government. We have heard them double down on the same arguments that they've been making for 13 years, and in particular since the superseding indictment was issued. Again, we're seeing attempts to make exceptions for Julian Assange. Why his human rights don't matter. Why normal protections for journalists don't matter. We've heard this before. We heard how even though they knew his state of mental health, they knew his risk of suicide, how, oh no, no, it would be okay, send him here anyways. Now we're seeing that in an attempt to distance the journalistic community from him and all of us. But let me be very clear, this case is about journalism. It is about press freedom. If they make an exception of Julian Assange, the rule will be broken. And no one, no journalist, no publisher, no journalistic source, no media organization can ever be confident that their rights will be respected again. We will see an immediate and distinct chilling effect, in particular on national security reporting. This is absolutely about journalism. Assange has remained imprisoned without charges since April 2019 in the Belmarsh prison at the behest of the extradition request by the United States. His extradition was initially rejected by a district judge in London in January 2021 on grounds of Assange's mental health and the risk of suicide and other bodily harm if he was extradited. This decision was overturned by the High Court in London in December that year based on diplomatic assurances given by the US after the district court's decision. In June 2022, the UK Home Office sanctioned the extradition based on the High Court's decision. If extradited, Assange will stand trial in the US and face 17 charges under the notorious Espionage Act that could land him a 175-year prison sentence.